Hello friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show demo on how to write multiple case statements in select class in SQL. So case statement is one type of uh, SQL handling the if and then logic. So every case statement should have one when and then pair. And afterwards, a case statement, every case statement will end with end keyword. So syntax is here case, when, and condition, condition, and result, then result, and when. There is a second condition. This is condition one, this is condition two, then result. And else part, else result, else, else, else there is no condition, else result. And finally, end. So this is the basic syntax of the case statement in SQL. So else result, it depends on you if, if you want to have as per your column requirement and table requirement if you don't want else else you can remove the else and they can complete with the end so this is up to you but the this is the basic syntax of the case statement so what it is this is an expression goes through conditions and returns a value when the first condition is met and the first condition is met it can uh, Returns the value. So once the condition is true, it will stop reading. If, the, if this condition is true, it will stop reading. If the condition is not true, it will go to second condition and then result. If no condition is true, then it will it will if there is no condition is true, then it will go and print the else else result and it should finally end with the end keyword. So this is how the case statement will build. In SQL, I am showing in this demo to to check the case statement to, to write the case statement in one select class. Multiple case statements I am talking about. How to write? I will show in this demo. So here I have one table called person data. This is my table name. If you observe the data in this table, it contains ID, name, gender, and martial status. Now, I, I am writing the case statement on gender and martial status. First, I am taking the select star, comma, star means all these four columns will come, comma. Now, I am starting writing the case. Case. Now, uh, I want to write gender. If gender is M, then I want to make it as a male. If gender is F, I want to make it as a female. That is the logic of this case statement. Now I am writing case gender when gender when when only two genders here when M. M means male then then male this is the result then uh, result and second condition so first condition is when m then male when m then male the second condition is here when f then female female here I don't want, I want to, particularly there is no use of using the else statement, but even though I am writing the else condition as well, else within quotes unknown, finally end, end, so I am giving one alias name that is gender underscore status this is alias from 
which table the person later so this is the one statement i have uh, written in person data table for getting the gender um, expansion when this m means column value within single quotes m means column value then we ask to uh, write like male when f this is also column value see here column value then we ask to write female if there is any unknown gender other than m and f it will show unknown so right now we don't have any unknown values in gender so this is the way to write the k statement in select class now i want to take the master status as well if m is there then married if s is there then single so how to write the second k statement in the select class just by putting the comma here and write your case again case oh, what is the column column you want to write martial status martial status that is already there martial underscore status earlier we have case gender now it is martial status then we write again when when same thing when m then married married r r i u d married and writes your second condition when yes yes then single single now in this case i don't want to, other than m and s there is no either married or single are there in the master status column so there is no other value except m and s so in this case i don't want to try to else condition directly i am making it as the end as this is the master status again this is elias name i am taking as master status selecting the whole query and executing you need to write as master status because it will show unknown value there is no column name here see here so in in first case statement i put a else unknown in second case statement i haven't put any else condition directly i end with the end end with elias name so this is how you need to write the case statement you can write multiple case statements as per your logic but but you you have to just make it comma and start with um, second case statement with case so this is how you need to write the multiple case statements in one select class hope this video is get to know something about select uh, writing the case statements in select class Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.